end the week with a Fort Myers artist collection of chairs. And as NBC2 Sean Martinelli discovered, there's a story to share behind each one. Let me invite you for a moment to take a seat. When the show opened, I was kind of curious because I didn't, you know, set up a bunch of pretty chairs. Instead, they are cracked, tattered, and rusted. This one somebody didn't want, and I found him special. Most meant for human. Others look like they're meant for a mouse. But these are all salesman samples chairs. The seats are bound together with duct tape and the imagination of Fort Myers artist Chris Obetz. This is a I call this my family of chairs. They're now part of an exhibit at the Miramar Design Center in Estero for all to see. Each one has its name and its uniqueness to it. This collection started 25 years ago with a single chair. Chris was traveling to Cuba with a group of artists. I was a struggling artist in New York City. I hadn't, you know, never make it. No one ever truly makes it, but I was just following my passion. That's when he encountered a man working at a taxi stand in this chair. I was photographing. I thought, well, may I, can I buy your chair? And he was totally reluctant to selling him to me. It's not a typical request many people have. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone had ever paid attention to the chair. Most just saw repurposed rebar, wooden slats, and crumbled aluminum. Chris saw possibility. It's kind of like he, he's always smiling. That like chair has been with him ever since as a symbol of beauty in the forgotten. He says each of these chairs have some story. This, this is a fun one. Now they're here for all to sit and see. What I see is what's lost and forgotten and abandoned and bring, giving it a new life and finding that beauty. In Estero, Sean Martinelli, NBC2. I wonder what he'd see in this chair that I sit in. <laughs> I know. I can't They're, stand this. I thing. know. They're very uncomfortable. I know that much. He's sitting straight up during the newscast. Well, get outside and enjoy the weather tonight yes. then, Kelly.